All right, guys, KB32 here, check it out. We're sitting over here in the new uh, studio sec setup that I have. This is actually my rifle building. That's the reloading table slash storage, whatever, and the review table next to me. Uh, last night, as I was publishing that video on uh, the Hamas deal, um, man, it's interesting to see what's gonna happen there uh, moving forward. But anyway, I wanted to talk to you guys about this new, uh, this article that came out. It's two days old. U.S. judge blocks Biden administration's forced reset trigger ban. He sent me a video last night uh, about the, uh, the association that sued uh, Garland, that POS in the DOJ. So uh, this is what happened. The July 24th, two days old, a federal judge in Texas overturned a Biden administration ban on forced reset triggers, aftermarket accessories that allow AR-15 type rifles to be fired more rapidly by automatically returning the trigger to its starting position after it is pulled. Now, my good friend John Crump and I went through a whole lot of process when this first came out. Uh, the U.S. District Court Judge Reed O'Connor in Fort Worth, Texas, on Tuesday ruled that the Bureau of Alcohol to Fire Upon the blah, 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 had gone beyond its legal authority in 2021 when it decided to classify force reset triggers equipped guns with machine gun as machine guns, which are illegal with very narrow exceptions. Early in the morning, have another cup of coffee, John. He granted the judgment without a trial to the National Association for Gun Rights. That was the association, the National Gun Rights Group that had challenged the ban. This is pretty cool. Uh, I, I'll do the video down, down below. I think I can find it. But in any case, it's neat. All these people, the ATF going after people, coming to their houses, writing letters. They actually have to write letters back to these individuals saying, sorry, <laughs> we, we thought we were badasses, and unfortunately we're not. And it might be showing up at my house today after this video. Connor cited the U.S. Supreme Court's recent ruling striking down a ban on bump stocks, another device that allows a gun to be fired at a speed similar to a machine gun. The court found that the legal definition of a machine gun requires that the gun to fire continuously while the trigger is being held, which neither the bump stocks nor reset triggers do. Like bump stocks ban, the forced reset trigger ban was motivated in part by the shooting out there in Las Vegas. That was a sick son of a bitch that did that. 858 people had died. O'Connor said that there was no denying the tragic nature of the shooting, but just because it's tragic nature. Um, Hurricane Beulah or whatever just went through Texas. 38 people died from that. Are we going to ban hurricanes? No. <laughs> but the, the government, uh, it's a scary thing. It's easy to do what they just did. They, they, it's easy to do uh, by screaming and hollering. And, and to that effect, if this woman, Kamala, she's probably going to you know, uh, tap Mark Kelly as the VP, who is Gabby Gifford's husband, which you know they're going to be a full onslaught against our rights. Okay, but no matter how terrible the circumstances, there is never a situation that justifies a court altering statutory text that was democratically enacted by those who are politically accountable, he wrote. That responsibility belongs exclusively to Congress. This is important that we vote because they can't do a ban on anything unless Congress, and that includes the House and the Senate, Important to vote, important to vote, important to vote. And don't take it for granted that Trump's going to win this thing. This asshole wants to be in, in the office, and they did it last time. They sure as shit might do it. Now they're just going to have to go back, change all the names on the ballots that they've already put together, okay? Uh, we are absolutely thrilled that the court has dealt such a decisive blow to the ATF's unconstitutional agency's overreach. Hannah Hill, the executive director of the NAGR's legal arm, Good, good job. ATF declined to comment, blah, 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 like the bump stocks. They are popular accessory, accessories to an AR-15 rifle. rifle. Now here's my thing. Rare breed trigger. i you know, obviously tested it out. It hat works half the time. Works when it's working. It's fun. Uh, like I said, it's fun, okay? Um, but it's, that's all it is. I would assume just go ahead and put my power behind a single stage, good single stage trigger so that I know that when that thing goes off is when I want it to go off. All right, so with that being said, guys, that's it, man. Bump stock ban, the uh, forced, re re for forced re little reset trigger ban uh, for right now is uh, out. However, they'll go ahead and appeal it. They'll go ahead and bring it up. The biggest thing is if this thing goes to the uh, Supreme Court, which the bump stock already did, uh, guess what? You're probably good to go. 
for now. So with that being said, guys, if you've been visited by the ATF, expect a good old apology letter from those guys, and that's pretty much it. KB32, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support the red, white, blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women, uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. It's free or not free. Y'all be good. I'm out here. Boom. Hell yeah. <coughs>